I too want to thank all of you for participating in these, this 40 Days for Life and coming out today. Um, the rain is a little damper, but I like to think of it as, uh, as God's sprinkling rite. We start Mass off every periodically with a sprinkling rite, and this is God's sprinkling rite. He's just a little more thorough than what we can be in church. Uh, you know, we, we pray, we continue to pray, because uh, when the disciples returned to Jesus on one occasion, and they were uh, disappointed, frustrated, that they were not able to drive out some evil spirits, and they asked why, and Jesus responded, because some can only be driven out by prayer. And so we follow that admonition uh, as we continue to pray for uh, respect for human life from the moment of conception until natural death. And I think we can, we can take some satisfaction in knowing that the culture does seem to be changing. At least, uh, you know, the legislature in the state of Ohio has made some positive moves to show a greater respect for life from conception to natural death. Um, and we get we continue to hear that the younger generations are more and more pro-life. Of course, the great challenge is the Affordable Health Care Act right now, which uh, forces us to participate or at least fund um, actions that are uh, we can we have conscientious we have a, it's against our conscience it's against our moral beliefs what we are being asked to do there and so there too we continue to pray that the right remedy is found you know it's not that the Catholic Church the bishops or any of us are uh, against in any way seeing to it that uh, all of our people receive the health care that that uh, that they need but to uh, lump uh, the so-called preventive care in with a, a cure for illnesses and disease. You know, a, a pregnancy is not a, a disease or an illness. It's health. It's, it's, it's <laughs> so we continue to pray. And it is, you know, we, in a very special way, maybe uh, in the forthcoming year, uh, as we part we as we prepare for the canonization of Pope Paul the S of Pope John Paul II, we remember that it was John, Pope John Paul II who said that we are entering a culture of death, and he's and he said that because of the disregard that we have for human life, beginning with uh, with the the whole issue of abortion, and he predicted that if this is not remedied we're going to see more disregard for human life, more tragedy uh, in, in the world today. And I think that you know, with all the, the, the tragic shootings and uh, the disregard for human life that we have seen in the last months, I think that we have to begin to realize that uh, St. John Paul II uh, foresaw the future. And so we use, we can use, he can become our patron saint, our patron saint to bring an end to, the, to, all, to all violence, to this culture of death, beginning with a, a regard from, for, for the, the, the unborn. And so, once again, thank you for what you do. Be steadfast, and you know, God does answer our prayers.